2026 is here. That means an updated Windows optimization for gaming and performance. This video is going to break everything down. You're going to boost the FPS, lower input delay, and even lower your ping. Your game's going to feel a lot smoother after this video. And the best part is I'm going to make it super simple for you. So getting straight into this, the first thing we're going to do is create a restore point. Just type in restore point into your Windows search. Right at the bottom, create a restore point. You can call this literally anything. This is going to basically give you something that you can always revert back to. Now, you probably won't need to do this, but better safe than sorry. I recommend you do this for every single tweak you ever do, not just this video. Now, first thing we're going to look at is our system settings. Go into here, go to display. I'm going to, by the way, cover absolutely everything. So scale and layout, have this on whatever is recommended. For you, it'll probably be 100%. This will give you the least input delay. Resolution, set this to whatever is also recommended. It'll probably be 1920 by 1080. Of course, the higher this is, it means your graphics card will need to work harder, so you may struggle. I usually advise keeping things like nightlight off and any of these color profiles because I'm just worried on what they could do, especially HDR. I, although I can't 100% confirm it, these could, and it's logical that they'll produce a bit of input delay on the display. Going into advanced display, make sure your refresh rate is set to the absolute highest. There's people I know that I've been playing on 60 hertz or 144 hertz, and they actually have a way higher hertz monitor. So yeah, just double check this. I'd also recommend turning off dynamic refresh rate. You want to have the max refresh rate all the time. Again, this is a response time thing. Going back, go down to graphics. Here, auto HDR if you can, turn that one off. Optimize for Windows games or optimizations for Windows games. Turn that one on. In advanced graphics, turn hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, turn that on. Under customized settings for applications, I recommend adding your games here and setting them to high performance. For example, if you have Fortnite, this is the directory. So you have to actually find where it's installed, which is quite annoying. You just press add desktop app. And yeah, you literally have to find the install it, the, the location of the installation. It can be a little annoying, but yeah, this is the Fortnite one. Maybe that helps you. Uh, this is for Valorant. If you have Valorant, you can also do that here. And I also recommend adding any background apps that you 100% need to have open. So let's say you use a lot of Discord. You could add Discord here and instead set that to power saving. Before we go any further, how many of you have had awful internet lately? I don't know, maybe something to do with the change of season, you know, worsening weather, or just something to do with everyone being indoors right now. It doesn't help that game servers are super unreliable, but thankfully, I gave Exalag a try and it immediately solved my issue. Exalag is the best software for reducing ping and latency, which works by putting you on the closest sub server to ensure you're connected as close to the action as possible. Best thing is that it's free and works for every game with 1,200 servers across five continents. It's also super easy to set up and use. Just head over to the link in the description and click download. And to prove how legit this is, I'm going to download it here again with you. Super, super simple. You just press next, 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 install. Within literal seconds, we're ready to go. I need to find my game. We're going to choose our region. It's going to do this automatically for us. And then it's going to analyze the routes and put us on the best route. Just like that, now it's found them. We're going to press apply routes. And it's been applied successfully. That's it. We're done. Good to go. Lower ping. There's even a network analyzer. This is actually news to me. I'm going to run it here. This is basically going to check generally if I have any internet issues. And if there's anything I can improve outside of the game. All right, cool. Everything is looking good. And probably one of my favorite things this software has on top of the ping stuff is you can actually optimize your entire system. Yeah, they have one click system tweaks. This right here, reduce simple lag. Bang. Maximize performance of games. Bang. Keep all my CPU cores active to ensure maximum performance. Bang. I can even clean up my RAM here to get rid of unnecessary memory. So what are you waiting for? If you want a real and powerful game changer to reduce lagging games, honestly, it would be silly not to. Head over to my link down below. It's completely free to get started, but if you never want choppy gameplay again, exclusively for you guys, you can lock in a year of exit lag for less than the cost of a literal happy meal per month. So go ahead, use my link at the top of the description and enter code FETCH for an additional 50% off, exclusive to this video only. Going back now outside of display, back into system. Notifications, turn all of these off. In power, go to energy saver and turn this off. Going back now to storage, turn on storage sense. And where it says clean up recommendations, I also recommend doing both of these. As you can see, I can literally get rid of 12 gigabytes here from just downloads and my recycle bin. And that's pretty much all for system. Going into Bluetooth and devices, if you don't use Bluetooth, just turn it off entirely. Same goes for printers scanners, cameras, any of this, if you don't use it, get rid of it. But one thing that is super important for performance, a lot of people don't know this, and it can actually improve your aim when you're playing FPS games, is in mouse, where it says enhance point of precision, turn that off. This is a lifesaver. There's people that have told me that they've played with this for a whole year, or plus however long they've been gaming, 
and turning it off made their aim incredible. I know it sounds good, point of precision, it's not. It will ruin your aim. Turn this off. Moving to network and internet, I only go here just to tell you this. If you do not have an Ethernet yet and you are complaining about your ping, you need to get an Ethernet. It will be the best upgrade you can get. But if for whatever reason you physically cannot get an Ethernet, you know, maybe your router is too far away, you can't cable it. But the next best thing would be to get my AI network optimization pack. I know AI sounds a bit scary. It doesn't use AI for the optimizations. It uses AI to personalize them to you. All the information and the tweaks you get are from me. So I'm telling you, this could literally half your ping or get you even less, maybe zero ping. And we also have a Windows optimization pack, which goes into way more detail than this video. So if you're lazy, definitely check it out. I'll put the link down below. But moving down personalization, I recommend initially setting to one of these Windows default themes. And for the absolute most optimized setup, go to background, set this to solid color. In colors right here, turn off transparency effects and select a manual accent color. I'll also turn off these two down here. And one of the most important things is turn off dynamic lighting on your devices. Moving down to apps, go into installed apps and delete anything you don't need. So many people just have so much stuff they don't need. You may not actually need WhatsApp. I need it for some business stuff. Most people don't need this. Sometimes it's pre-installed on your computer. Delete it, uninstall it, get rid of it. There's maybe a lot of games you have, maybe some default Windows stuff. Get rid of as much as possible that you do not need. Trust me, this makes a bigger difference than you think. But going back, start up another thing which is so, so important. Turn off whatever you do not need to be on as soon as you start your system. So if you play Valorant, you don't need this to launch when you start your PC. It will launch when your game starts. So that's when you want to play it. WhatsApp, I actually don't need this on. I don't know why I had that. So I'll turn that off. And you probably have things like Discord or your browser in here. Get rid of them. And finally, in our actual Windows settings on gaming, go to game bar, turn that off. This kills your performance. You do not need it. And if for whatever reason you use it, there are better options. Nvidia has a uh, shadow play. OBS has something called buffer replay, I think. And I think metal even is probably better than this. So turn this off, replace it. But better that you don't use it at all. But on the other hand, game mode, so not game bar, game mode, turn this one on. Oh, and I'd also recommend doing whatever Windows updates. Things like this uh, is trying to install a malicious software removal tool. Don't worry about that. You can ignore that. But actual updates, get them done. Um, and after you've done so, once you're fully updated, you can go ahead and pause them for, let's say, five weeks. You'll be good. It's good anyway to wait after new updates to make sure they are secure and they're not going to cause performance issues. So yeah, don't update straight away. That's probably one of my biggest tips. And I know this is a Windows video, but I'd also recommend doing your NVIDIA drivers or your AMD drivers as well. So update your drivers, any drivers network drivers, mouse drivers, keyboard drivers, any peripheral driver, any, you know, uh, drivers you need for a software, but especially your GPU drivers, update them as well. Just an extra tip. And just to double check with the startup thing, type in task manager, go to startup apps and just click at the top. It will show you which ones are disabled. If you just click here, they go enabled. Then these are all the disabled ones. Just make sure that you have disabled as much as you can in here that you definitely don't need to launch when you start your system. And now for you guys, I've stuck around this long in the video. I'm going to give you another two most important things you can do for your performance. Now I've said it for a lot of things, but people sleep on this. Go into edit power plan. I recommend just turning these two off, uh, setting them to never. You don't need to, but it's a good thing to do. Go back to power options. And if you do not see ultimate performance in here, you need ultimate performance. It's kind of a no brainer. As you can see, it provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. I know that sounds a bit, you know, well, okay, I may have a low end PC. I may have a mid tier PC. Trust me, it is still good for you. The only thing is it uses more energy. So I don't know if maybe a laptop user, this could be a bit problematic because of overheating or if for whatever reason you are very conscious about energy, most of us are not, thankfully. So to unlock this, and I don't know why Windows doesn't do it by default, you want to go into your Windows PowerShell, run it as an administrator, and you want to paste this code right here. I'm going to put it in the description if I remember, or it'll be on the pinned comment. If not, you can just go over to this website. It's called howtogeek.com. If you just search in Google ultimate performance power plan, it'll probably be the first link and you just need to copy and paste this. Once you've done that, press enter. It will save this. It looks like it hasn't done anything, but if you exit this and you have to reload it, but if you go back into your power plan or your edit power plan option, now you can see I've got two of them. So now we have unlocked the ultimate performance plan. Simply just click it. Now it's enabled. You're good to go. And because I absolutely love this software, it goes a little bit more in depth, not as much as the flux start pack, but it is very, very good. As you can see, there's a lot of options that you cannot usually access or at least not easily. It's the Chris Titus Windows utility. Now this is a little more advanced, but it's easy. So you're doing more advanced tweaks, but it's not advanced in how it's done at all. As in like, it takes two seconds, click of a button. We're actually going to do this in the power plan as well. So I just closed it, but you pretty still have it open. Run as administrator again. In here, you want to copy this launch command. You'll find it on this GitHub. 
But again, I'll try and put the link down below. Just literally put that in here, press enter. And within seconds, it's now going to run the utility. What you want to do is go over to tweaks. And simply what I recommend is setting this to standard. Just literally click standard right here. If you do not use Windows Edge, and I don't recommend you use Windows Edge, like I really don't recommend you use it. So either swap to Mozilla Firefox or Brave, you can also get rid of that. So unless you use Edge, press standard, it will select all of these and also select disable Edge and also disable background apps just to really make sure they're gone. And it's very simple. Now you just press run. Now I've already did it, so I'm not going to run the tweaks, but it'll run here and just let it do its thing. And eventually at the very bottom, it will say tweaks have been applied. And that is basically it. The only other thing I'd recommend is on any application that you probably always run in the back. So I usually always have Discord open. Usually I always have my browser open. You want to turn off hardware acceleration. So in Discord, you go to your user settings, you scroll all the way down to advanced and right here, hardware acceleration, turn that off. You can do this on your browser. You can do it in OBS. You can do it on pretty much any application like this. Turn that off. It will also make a massive difference. And that is everything. You now are going to have buttery smooth gameplay, a very smooth gaming experience. If you want to go even further, check out Flux Start. And something I always advise is restart your PC. You've just applied a lot of tweaks. You want them to load properly. Just restart your PC and then try them out. Some changes won't fully, fully apply until that's been done.